Welcome to D20 Pro Video Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss how to convert an image inside a PDF file into a usable map inside D20 Pro. You will need 1. D20 Pro 2. GIMP, which is a GNU image manipulation program. The GNU part is a general public license for free software. And 3. You will need Map Scale Tool, which is a spreadsheet that can be used in Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice. Here is the challenge. We first open up an adventure in PDF format. We want to take the image of the map and place it inside D20 Pro to use. So let's select it, copy the image, go over to D20 Pro, and create a map from the clipboard. We're going to adjust the size of the grid and you notice that no matter what pixel size that we choose, it's either too small or too big to use. So what do we do? Using the same image in our clipboard, let's go to GIMP. Uh, what I did to pre-populate this was File, Create from Clipboard. From here I'm going to zoom factor, go to 800%, scroll all the way to the left, scroll all the way to the top, use my rectangle select tool, and select only the grid that I see. From the top left section, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom, I'm going to scroll all the way to the right, and I'm going to only select the grid that I see. Now I'm going to go to Image, I'm going to crop to Selection, I'm going to go back to 100% zoom factor, and I'm going to count the squares from the left to the right, which is 25. Now I'm going to count from the top to the bottom, which is 16. I'm going to go into my Excel spreadsheet, going to enter in the dimensions, um, step 1 and 2, which are found up here on the GIMP. I'm going to enter my desired uh, grid size, which is 38, and this tells me that I need to resize the dimensions to 950 by 608. I'm going to go to Image, I'm going to go to uh, Scale Image, and I'm going to unclick the link. I'm going to select 950, I'm going to do 608, I'm going to scale the image. Now this should have the grid size matched and aligned. I'm going to go to View, Show Grid, I'm going to Image, and then go to Configure Grid, and I'm going to use 38 pixels per square, and you can see the grid lines up perfectly. Now that everything is ready, I'm going to go to Edit, I'm going to go to Copy, we're going to go back to our D20 Pro, New Map from Clipboard, and we're going to adjust this down to 38 pixels per square. I'm going to name the folder uh, PFS03 intro. I'm going to name the name of the map, the Act 1 peer. I'm going to save it as JPEG since there's no transparency. Then we're going to say OK. After D20 Pro saved it, you can now open the file. And as you can see, the grid lines up perfectly on the map, on all sides of the map, and we're ready for the next part of the development process on our campaign or game. This has been a D20 Pro video tutorial production. If you have any questions, please visit the D20 Pro forums or use D20 Pro's contact page for email support.